Hello everyone! Today we're going to do a science experiment. But we're going to be working with water. So what do we need to put on? Our apron. That's right. Now let's look at the materials that we need for our science project. You're going to need a pitcher of water and one, two, three, four, five glasses. Yellow food dye, blue food dye, and red food dye, and lots of sugar. And let's not forget our tablespoon. We're going to be putting tablespoons of sugar into our glasses. The first glass will have one tablespoon of sugar. Let's count how many we need for our second glass. One, two. Make sure that the sugar is even in your tablespoon. For our third glass, we'll need one, Two, three tablespoons of sugar. For our fourth glass, we'll need one, two, three. And four. Don't put anything in your fifth glass. It needs to be empty. We can put our sugar away now. Bye sugar. We need to put three tablespoons of water in each glass. So let's count. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. And leave the last one empty. We're going to mix all of the sugar into the water so that it dissolves. The last two cups of water have a lot of sugar in it, so it takes a while for it to dissolve into the water. I found out that I actually needed to add one more tablespoon to each cup. So here's more water. One tablespoon, one tablespoon, one tablespoon, and one more tablespoon. So all of my glasses have four tablespoons in it. This helped the sugar to dissolve a lot better in my cups that had a lot of sugar in it. Now we're going to start adding the food dye so that we can see the different colors of what our mixtures have. The first one should be red. The second one should be, that's right, yellow. The third one, we need to mix blue and yellow together to make a color color is that? Let's find out what color that makes. You've got it! That makes green! Blue and yellow make green. And for our last cup, we need to make it blue.
You're going to pour these into a glass. First the blue, which has the most sugar, then the green, that only has three tablespoons of sugar, and you're going to pour it on the back of the spoon so that it separates. Then the yellow will go on top, and pour very slowly, as slowly as you can. It's a little bit difficult, but try your best. Science experiments are okay to mess up. We just have to keep trying. Now you can see that the water is separating into two different colors. You can see blue and green. Now you're going to slowly pour the red on the very, very top. Do you see the line of the water on top? Let's watch it again, a little slower so we can see the pour. The red on top is not dropping to the bottom. You can see the clouds of the sugar staying to the top because it has a less dense liquid. It does not have as much sugar. So now you can see that line of blue, green, and red. So our science experiment wasn't perfect. We were supposed to be building a rainbow on top of each other so we could see all the colors. But an important thing about science experiments is they aren't perfect. I can still see the different colors between the green and the blue, and especially the red on the very top. Because it had less sugar, it stayed on the top. The blue that had more sugar stayed on the bottom. Alright friends, I hope you can try this at home and maybe you'll have more luck than me. I'll see you next time.